<clears throat> Hello? Hello, Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Bye. Thank you and you, teacher. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Happy to see you all again. Um, fine. How was your day? Good? Yes, yeah, good. Good. No problem. No problem. Okay. Did you go to work? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Where, where do you work? And uh, go uh, Torre Futura, aquí en San Salvador. Okay. Ah, you are in San Salvador. Sí. And you live in San Salvador too. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, that's good. So it's, it's not very far. Um. No. Okay. Do you drive? Um. No. Okay. No. A patitas. <laughs> <laughs> On foot. Por e Por On foot. Pie. Uh, <laughs> on foot. Oh, see? Yes, okay, good. All right. All right. That's Bye. good. That's nice. Okay, so here we have now Francisco is here too. Hi, Javier. How are you today? Good night. Good night. Good good, very good. Thank you. How are you? Everything okay? Okay, very good. Okay, that's fine. Thank Okay, good, good. And Pablo, how are you, Pablo? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was the day? My day was very well. That's well. Okay, good. You had a good day. Good day. Okay, fine. Okay. okay, so here we have time expressions. Okay, yesterday we were talking about daily routines, okay? So here we have uh, some time expressions. I'm going to play this video again for you to remember and refresh what we did yesterday, vocabulary, expressions, um, also the pronunciation, okay? Now listen, oh, but first let me share the computer sound and here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. 7. 7. 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. 
This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday, I rest on weekends, Christmas is on December 25th. Exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On, this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I read. Okay. <clears throat> Here we have that we use at when we're talking about a specific time, eight o'clock. Okay, what time does this class start? This class starts at 8 p.m., right? So this is a specific time, okay? Including exceptions such as night. We have classes at 8 at night. Okay, so this is a specific moment during the day that we have classes. Okay, then we have classes on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Okay, this week, no Friday. So we have classes on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. So we're talking about days of the week. Okay. In this preposition of time, it's used to discuss general time of day except night, month, and year. Okay, so we have at in here. Then we have in. We have classes in the morning. Okay, or you can also say we have classes in the afternoon. Okay, uh, you can say my graduation. My graduation is in June. And then you have, I went to Mexico in 1989. And then we have the preposition on. On this preposition of time, it's used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week. We will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. And Christmas is on December 25th, okay? So we have a specific dates, okay? You have the month and the date, okay? For example, the you can say the independent day, the independence day in El Salvador is on September 15th. Labor Day in El Salvador is on May 1st, okay? A Mother's Day in El Salvador is on May 10th, okay? So you have a specific dates, portions of days of the week, I rest on weekends. I work on Sunday, I work on weekends, I work on Saturday mornings, I, uh, I don't work on Monday, I don't work on Friday, okay, so you can think about days, or I don't work on Saturday afternoon, is a portion of one day of the week, okay? So this is the when you're going to use on. Questions in this moment? In this moment, you know. Okay, good. 
So we have the time expression. Remember that we have the word time expression as our first thing to do. Then yesterday we were talking about the gym, remember? And now we have the prepositions of time. And here we have a little exercise about those. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, we have okay, it's only ten. Yes, we have ten exercises. Okay. Let's see uh, who wants to start now. Let's say Alejandro. Say Alejandro. What is the number one? I get up hat on in. At, I get up at six. Okay. Steve, number two. In. I go to bed. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Hey, Juan. Juan Navas, number three. Hello. Claudia, how about number three? I start work at 11.30 a.m. At 11.30 a.m., very good. Uh, Tatiana, four. Tatiana. Um, to to PM on the afternoon. Uh, remember in the afternoon, right? Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Carla, number five. Number five. I. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekend. On oh, weekends. Okay, good. How about number number six, Santos? On. Number six, on. On. On Sunday. Okay. Good, Vilma. Number seven. Um, I watch TV on the evening. On the evening? In, in the evening, okay. Uh -huh, in the evening. Okay, minor, number eight. Number eight. I do my homework around four in the afternoon. I do my around. homework around around four in the afternoon. Yes. Okay. Number nine, David. I work. On weekend, weekday. I work on weekday. And the number 10, Alan. I get home late. I get home late. Okay, good. Now let's check our answers. Okay, correct. They are correct. Okay, very good, people. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see those are the, the answers that we have.
I get up at six. I go to bed in the morning. I start work at 11.30. I have lunch at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I stay up at one on weekends. And what's this one? Okay, I wake up late on Sundays. I watch TV in the evening. I do my homework around four in the afternoon. Around is approximately, more or less. Okay, not exactly. Okay, it's around. Number nine, I work on weekends and I get home late, okay? Because it's not very specific. And then we have all the points, 25 of 25. Okay, good. Teacher, tengo una, una, una duda. Yes, sir. En la, en la presentación anterior, ahí mencionaban sobre, en algunas de las explicaciones, Sobre algunas excepciones, pero no entendí muy bien. No sé si las puede colocar. ¿De video? De video, yes. De video. Let's see here. Here? Yes. Ahí dice. Um, in, en el, en el in. I rest on week or portions of days of the week. A specific dates. Uh -huh. Ahí donde menciona, except, uh, dice, in the proposition of time is used to discuss general times of day, except night, months, years. Es último, que dice, except night, months, and years. ¿A qué se refiere? Okay. So you don't use in with night, months, and years. Here, example said, uh, in this proposition of time, it's used to discuss general times of day. Okay, for example, here you said, uh, my graduation is in the night or in night. Okay, so this is the one that they are talking about, the night. Uh, for example, you can use, we have classes in the morning. Okay, and then we can use, for example, uh, wait, wait a minute, here we have, this is talking about the preposition uh, here. So there is a mistake here. It's months, month, years. Months and years only. Uh -huh. But but in June? Okay, talking, about, okay, talking about at. Talking about uh, at, no in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Talking about at. Month, year, night. Uh -huh. It's but about. When you say in this preposition, Time is in, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day, okay? For example, but you can say in months and years, okay? And then, but in the night, you can, well, in American English, you can use it, okay? So this is what they are talking about. And in this one, say on, this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week. So with the preposition in, they are not using here night, but you can use months. This is correct. So this one, no. And also in 1989. I don't know if, uh, yes, I think that night shouldn't be, for example, here or month. This two shouldn't be here. Examples, we will meet. Okay, the correct forms, just for omitting this, you can say, in June, in July, in August, in September, no problem, it's correct, okay? When you're talking about years, in 1989, for example, I was born in 1966. I was born in 1907. So with this ones are correct, okay? So then uh, in the night, probably when you say in the night, sounds more specific, like at night. At night, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's more specific and not as general as this. For example, if I say I was born in May, you know that month, but the month has 30 days, right? Or 31 days. 
what day of May? What day of May? It's not very specific, right? If I want to be more specific, I use this one on a specific day. I was born on May on May. Uh, let's say on May nineteen sixty six. That's a more specific for date. In when you talk about months and years, it's very general. Okay. It on Friday. For example, if they ask you, si en diez años les preguntan, when was the pandemic? What would be your answer? What will your answer be? What was the, the year of the pandemic? The pandemic was in. Uh huh. In nineteen. Uh, in 2020. 20, 20, 2020. Uh -huh. It was in 2020. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. With, so I think that's not as what is said except. Uh -huh. with, with in, can use uh, months and years. Yes. Ex the exception is with night. You can, I don't uh, know because you can use it sometimes in English. You can, in American English, you can use it. Sometimes probably. If you want, oh, okay. Okay. Hand, okay. for example, uh, I saw, uh, let's say, uh, uh, you can see the stars in the night. Yes, I can hear this okay. expression. <laughs> yes. yes, that's why I don't know. I think the word except here is a mistake. Okay, okay. Okay, okay you can say in the Thank night, you. in the evening, you can also use it. Okay, you teacher. Use it. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Any other question? But those are the good questions, okay? Es bueno ser observador en dos quites. Okay, here on this preposition of time, it's used to discuss certain days of the week or portions, okay? Days of the week, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Portions, on weekend, on Sunday, on Monday, okay? Uh, in general, you can say on Tuesdays. Here it says on Friday, but you can say on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, todos los martes, right? And then, for example, when you say uh, on Wednesdays, los miércoles, then you use uh, plural, okay? On Wednesdays, on Tuesdays. And the other one is a specific day, okay? Let me see what else. Uh, and here, all the present time is used to a specific time here, including exceptions such as, such as night. Okay, at eight at night. This is a very specific moment. Okay, no problem. No, no. Okay, okay. good. Thanks. Let's see now. Okay, we have. And then we have this uh, listening skill for specific information about daily schedule, right? Now we have the daily schedule here. Then, uh, Luis Alberto, can you please read these instructions here? Um, instructions, listen to Rodney. Tina and Ellen talk about their daily schedules, complete the information for each person. Okay, good. So then first, listen, okay? Primero vamos a escuchar, and then after we're going to answer the, the question. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, 
I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. Now look at this answer. So we have Rodney is, he gets up, he gets home up, he goes to bed at, then we have Tina, uh, what, what does she do, what time does she get up, when does she get home, uh, what time does she go to bed, and then we have Helen, what, what does she do, the time that she gets up, when she gets home, and the time that she goes to bed. Now listen again and pay attention to the answers, okay? Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. What about Rodney? What does he do? Chef. He's a chef. Okay. What time did he get up? 9 a.m. He gets up at 9. Well, I don't know if this is going to be acceptable. A.m. He gets home at Eleven p.m. Eleven. Eleven p.m. Okay, and he goes to bed at what time does he go to bed? One in the morning. At one. One a.m. or one in the morning. That? One in the morning. Okay. Number five. What about Tina? Office manager. Office manager. Okay. No, no cannot be a. It has to be a and. Manager only. That has to be a manager. Okay, she gets up at? Teacher. Yes. Uh, the, instru the instructions say write numbers in, the, in letters. The not write numbers in letters, yes. Okay. Tina and Ellen talk about their cases. Complete information is. Okay, write numbers. Okay. 
King letter. Okie dokie. Okay, here. We're going to use nine. Okay, you get from at eleven PM, right? What else? One. One in the morning. Okay, number six. She gets up at? Seven. Okay, seven. Seven what? A.M.? A.M. Okay. She gets home at? 6 p.m. 6, 6 p.m. Okay. Okay, and she goes to bed? Midnight. At midnight. Okay, Helen. Helen is? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. She gets up before? Before what? Five. Five. Before five. And she gets home at? Nine. At nine. She goes to bed at? At what? Our own thing. She goes to bed at 10. Okay, let's see. Again, listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. 9 o'clock. At night. And then go to bed around 10. And I think I have a doubt here because she says the, I am an office manager. Okay, I don't know, but he says, ah, I don't know if you have to write an office here. I will read check. Okay.
Okay, this one, if we say 10 for around 10 or 10 p.m. or 10 p.m., it's okay. These are the possible answers. So this is okay. Here we can use 9, 9 p.m. or 9 p.m. with this one. Okay, so we can omit this. Not 9 o'clock. 5 a.m. So we have to use the periods. Okay, flight attendant is okay. Midnight is okay. 6 p.m. Only one more period here. 7 a.m. It's okay. Okay, office manager. Okay, when I use office manager, pero hago la aclaración que aquí debe decir an, porque la siguiente palabra comienza con vocal. Okay, if you have dejado con a, but it should be is Tina is an. Okay, this is the correct one. Okay, aquí por la plataforma lo vamos a dejar solo. Right? But when you read it, you would say Tina is an office manager. Okay, then 1, 1 a.m. So we're going to use in the morning. So we use 1 a.m. Okay, he gets home at 11 or 11 p.m. Okay, 9, 9 or 9 a.m. So here we go, assistant. A M. And then we have to check. Okay. If you see, no es que no se esté, a veces no sé, si se entendió, solo que esta es la forma de trasladarlo a la cajita, es donde que tenemos que tener el cuidado, right? Okay, nine, nine or nine again. Okay, very good. Here we go, and now check, submit. Let's see what happens. Yes, now all of them are correct. Okay. Now, any problems with the listening? ¿Sintieron difícil la, la escucha de, del ejercicio? ¿No? No. No, very clear, right? A uh, little bit. Yes. The problem is that you need to remember some, uh, some information, right? But uh, I guess that the material is not really complicated. Okay. Then this is about time and preposition. And then we have in this lesson, we will read about jobs in order to practice the reading comprehension for specific information. Okay. This one, uh, something that we are going to read, but not today. Or probably at the end, if we have some time, right? Because this is a reading, and we're going to talk about Jobs. Okay, and uh, yesterday I told you here. Okay. Okay, what is my daily routine? Then you say, for example, I, I get up at, uh, let's say, at what, 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Then um, I, take, I take a shower, okay? 
I take a shower. Vigito time at six thirty a.m. What else? Help me. Okay, can I do that? I get I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Thank you. I have breakfast at uh, let's say uh, seven seven a.m. Then I go to work at seven what seven seven forty a.m. What else? I I start. Now let's say I get I get to work. So you practice. I get what I arrive to work at eight thirty a.m. Then I have lunch. at uh, 12, 12 30, right? PM. Okay. Hey, let me see. Javier, can you please read this sentence? Uh, the the, f the five, the six. Yes. I get up at uh, in my with my information or no the ones that I, the one that I have there. No, this. Okay. Okay. I get I get up at six a.m. I take a shower at six thirty a.m. I have breakfast at seven a.m. I go to work at seven forty a.m. I get to work at eight thirty a.m. I have lunch at 12.30 p.m. 12.30 p.m., right? Then, it sounds, you know, I get up at six, I take a shower. So then you can use here, for example, my daily routine. Then you can use here, every day, oh, from, from Monday to, Let's say Saturday, right? The majority. For Monday. In the graduation, in the conversation, used weekdays. I. Ah. In in the conversation, que anterior ocuparon weekdays como para referirse en las de lunes a viernes. Yeah, and you can say, for example, uh, you can use other other forms also from Monday to Saturday, okay, or from Monday to Friday, right? But acá la mayoría trabajamos a veces de, de, from Monday to Saturday, right? Si alguno de ustedes tiene un weekday only, un weekday, may you can use on weekday, I get up at. Eso ya va a ser personal. Then, from Monday to Saturday, I get up at 6 a.m. Then, okay, then I take a shower. After that, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Then I go to work. After I get to work at 8.30 a.m. Finally, esta va a ser la última. Aquí le he yo en lunch, pero pueden haber más. Finally, I have lunch at 12.30 p.m. Okay? So, when you use this word like then, after that, then, after, you can also use finally. Okay, then, um, Luis Alberto, can you read this paragraph? Now it's a paragraph, now they are not sent. Okay, now you have a paragraph. 
Can you read? Okay. Yes. Okay. My daily routine. From Monday to Saturday, I get up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower at 6 30 a.m. After that, I I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Then I go to work at, at 7.40 a.m. After I get to work at 8.30 a.m. Finally, I had lunch at 12.30 p.m. At 12.30 p.m. Okay. So then here, can we add more? Aquí, here also you can omit, right? Then when you say I get up at 6 a.m., then I take a shower at 6.30 Okay, ya sabemos que estamos hablando de la mañana, right? Then you can omit this part also. Okay, and here. And then here. Okay, Manuel Gutierrez, can you please read this paragraph now? If you can read, can you read this? Can you read this paragraph? I repeat. Yes, read it. Uh -huh. My daily routine from Monday to Saturday, I get up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower at 6 13. After that, I had breakfast at 7 o'clock. Then I go to work at 7 14. After that, get to work at uh, 8.30. Finally, I have lunch at 12.30. At 12.30. Okay, and here, you can also start changing. You know, you can just, again, after that, I get to work well, after lunch, right? After breakfast, I get to work at 8.30. Okay, this is, these words that you see here, uh, you can omit this part, this part here that somebody said, if it is only on week, on weekdays, that will give you, you know, like for example, the, uh, just from Monday to Friday, okay? Then say I get up and then you have weekdays and weekends. And then you can use on weekdays, I get up at, okay? And de aquí ya le pueden agregar ustedes lo que quieran. On weekdays, I get up at 6 a.m. Eh, on weekends, I get up at 10 or 8 or 9 a.m., okay? And then you can use here, for example, ex expressions like what you do on the weekend. Okay, on weekends, I get up at 9 a.m., I I go to the gym, I go to the park, or I go for a walk to the park, or I go to, I don't know, I go swimming, okay? And then uh, after that, I have breakfast or, or brunch. Probably you can have at 10.30 or 11 a.m., you can have brunch. You know brunch? What is brunch? So it's like a break. This is this is informal, right? Informal, like break breakfast and lunch. Sometimes when you have a breakfast, los domingos, for example, right? Como a las once, then you have desayuno fuerte. Y el almuerzo viene a ser como a las cinco. Cuatro, de la, de la tarde, right? So then they, they call brunch, right? It's un, un mix the breakfast to lunch, to brunch. Yeah, cuando se desayuna bien tarde y fuerte. Okay, so then, yeah, for example, you can have on, on Saturdays, I don't have breakfast. And I just have brunch. It means that you have lunch, breakfast and lunch around 11, 11.30, right? So then that's what happens. Okay, so you see the expressions here? 
that we can use is uh, then uh, after after that okay and you can use finally okay lo que es then after after that they can be used interchangeably no tienen un orden específico right finally sí va obviamente tiene que estar al final okay because after that finally i go to bed all right questions in this moment no Okay, then uh, for tomorrow, you're going to prepare your daily routine. Okay, then uh, I'd like you to prepare a daily routine similar to this. Okay. Para que vean las palabras. Okay, now here you can see then. Okay, you have um, after that, then after that. You can also use after, okay, okay here. Uh, okay, on weekdays I get up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower at 6.30. After that, I have breakfast at 7. Then I go to work at 7.40. After, after that, I get to work at 8.30. Then I, well, instead of finally, I have lunch at 12.30. I go, I get home at what, 6, uh, 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., now we have to use p.m. because we changed the, the moment of the day, right? And Okay, at 6 p.m. Then I, after that, I have dinner. Okay. Then I have my breakfast. Sorry, my breakfast, my English class. Okay and so on. You can, I mean, you can write this detail, so you can just write that you get up, then uh, that you go to work, the lunch, when you get back home, uh, the activity that you do after you get home, and then when you go to bed, okay? So you can hear how many sentences we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Yes, with ten sentences that you write, you can have your daily routine. Okay, no with no with all the details, right? Because if you put all the details, first, you can write fifty or more sentences, right? So you know, with eight to eight, eight, eight to nine, eight to ten sentences, it will be sufficient. Okay, that's the homework for tomorrow, and when we begin the class. You're going to read your your daily routine and share with the class, okay? Now, let me see here. Uh, I will introduce. Okay, Jenny? Yes, teacher. Can you please read this paragraph? My daily routine. No, on no, weekend. 
No, ah, wait, wait. Can you see the reading? No. I see the this part. I no sé. No, no. Ah, eh, ¿qué, qué, ven, qué, ven, ¿Qué es lo que ven ahorita? Mi rutina diaria sería. Only este that. Año. Only that. that. Only that. Sí, como una pizarra. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. How you doing? Okay, de aquí pueden sacar un vocabulario o ideas también para mañana. Solo lo vamos a leer, no lo vamos a responder para que tengan una idea de qué más se puede escribir. Okay, good. Okay, okay Jenny. Teresa, okay. Mm -hmm. Teresa Glass. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay. Vean ya a la hora de hablar cómo, la, cómo se usa. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art, I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Aquí podría ser all day on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday. Pero con las comas, right? You can use on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Y se puede omitir el on. Pero como el Tuesday and Thursday es una actividad diferente, me dice, comienza nuevamente. And on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I usually study and, and on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay. Then, uh, let me see who has not participated today. David, minor, Manuel Alberto. Read about caring, and then Paulo, you read the next one. Okay, Manuel, caring so much. No? Manuel? Yeah. yeah. You can say my wife. Manuel, right, teacher. Here. Manuel. Yes, Manuel Alberto, yes. He is dry. Oh, yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Pablo, can you read this one? Don't say my husband, say my wife. Okay. My wife and I have a new baby. She, she makes to good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house and take care of the baby. So I need a job and can, can do at home. I know how to tape and I have a computer. A computer. Okay, good. And now we have uh, Eduardo Funes. Read about Lamar Andrew. Okay. Teacher, puede estar más pequeña la pantalla que no veo por. This one? Yes. Okay. <coughs> I am. Um, es que no alcanzó la última parte porque ahí me salen todos los participantes. Oh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I am sixteen year sixteen now, and I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. 
to 30 p.m. My father owns, owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Restaurant work. Okay, so you can see there, for example, from 9 a.m. to 3.30, okay, como utilizar algunas expresiones, okay, que les pueden servir en su rutina, okay, to, for doing tomorrow, okay. Uh, tomorrow we're going to check the vocabulary from here and your daily routine. Daily, what well, you can do daily or weekly. Siéntanse libres de hacerlo como sientan más cómodo, right? Use the vocabulary from these units. Okay, the idea is to have a sequence, like a little paragraph where you can tell or express what you do during the day or during the week. Okay, if it is during the week, it's going to be more general right but if you want to do it during the days you do it just for one day okay so see you tomorrow okay the same time eight o'clock and have a good night okay good night see you tomorrow good night